It's the first lead platinum skyscraper ever built in the United States, and it's uh, probably the most environmentally advanced uh, building of its size in the world. And we're 65 feet below the sidewalk here. There's a tremendous amount of water that flows into the site, groundwater. Instead of taking that water and pumping it into the sewer system, we capture that water and we use it in the building. We save 13 million gallons of potable water a year. Those are through recycling the sink water, um, capturing the groundwater, using waterless urinals, and capturing all the rainwater that falls uh, on the building. Behind me are 44 tanks that are filled with a combination of uh, ice and um, rubber mats that are filled with glycol, which is antifreeze. And uh, we use these tanks um, to cool the building. At night, when energy is cheap, we freeze these tanks uh, into solid blocks of ice. Then in the morning, uh, when the building needs cooling, the uh, glycol runs through this plate frame heat exchanger and it chills uh, the water. That water goes up into the building and, and cools the tenant's space. On the seventh floor of this building is a 4.6 megawatt combined heat and power plant. It's a power plant that's large enough to power approximately 5,000 households. It supplies about two-thirds of the energy that the building uses. We manufacture power on site because we can capture the waste heat and use it to make hot water, to heat the building, to make steam, and to make air conditioning. So our conventional power plant is about 35% efficient. Our plant is about 70% efficient. A green building is an efficient building. It's efficient not just in the use of natural resources, um, and energy, it's an efficient place to work and a healthy place to work.